is an example. How much time I got? You told me I got two hours? You got until you're done. You got until you're done. <laughs> okay. The Holy Spirit's over here helping me. <laughs> I went, I, I had quit ministry. I was tired of them folks. I ain't gonna do this no more. I had gotten my little box in the church and I had gone around and picked up my stuff and put my stuff in the box. The stuff baby and I bought. And I put it in the box. And we was, I, was, I wasn't going to be there Sunday. And this brother that, had, had, that I knew and we were doing things together and he happened to be a, a, a Caucasian brother. He invited, he says, I'm going to see my father and the Lord up in the country about three hours away. He said, you want to go? I said, no, no. He called me on. I said, no, I can't. He didn't know what was going on. He didn't know what was happening. He didn't know anything. He didn't. He said, okay, no problem. I said, he said, but I'm leaving at such and such a time. And when I get off from work, that's when I'm leaving. And I'm collecting my box and my stuff. And I'm just upset and troubled. And, and the Lord, okay, go. He said, you know, I didn't want to go. But okay. So I drove over to his job. And he was just coming out. I got in the vehicle with him. And we drove up there. Got there. Praise and worship was going on. I didn't have to preach. I didn't have to teach. I didn't have to do nothing. Yes. Nobody even knew me. Yes. So I'm cool. I, I'm in the presence of the Lord. And it was good worship. And, you know, the presence of God was there. The preacher hadn't even come out. The one he was there to see hadn't even come out yet. He was still in the back with the pastor of that church because he was visiting, you know. And he was going on. And, I mean, they, they, and then right at the time, you know, praise and worship was over, he comes out and he sits down. So he still ain't seen me. You know, and the congregation was relatively mixed enough. You know, it wasn't all white, and I was the only right. one boy in the <laughs> and he would have known. <laughs> but but it was you know, and so he was you know they, they finished praise and worship, they did the announcements, and then he stood up. They introduced the speaker. The speaker got up and he began, and he was in high gear. I mean, the brother was cooking, and you know, in the middle of your preaching, you don't stop for anything. You just preach. You just go. You, you, brother, you can't quit. No, you can't. And he's now walking to me. You can't quit, brother. It's not time for you to quit. They didn't call you. They didn't call you. You can't. I mean, he's been doing just like that. I mean, he was poking me, and I'm saying, <laughs> he done called me out of everybody, but it wasn't the normal flow. He was following the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. He read my mail, ate my lunch, whatever else you said. I don't, I don't know what else. He did it all. And when he finished and they had all the call, I ran up. I was really at all the call before right he finished. There. Yeah. I was in my seat. And that was the second time the Lord called me out like that. But, but I knew that it wasn't time. Even though in my mind I had made it up. Even though in my mind, and I, and I, it, it, I just, so, so maybe some of you have decided that you weren't going to do certain things with certain people and weren't going to do certain things a certain way anymore. Oh, I was supposed to be holding this. Are you recording? Uh, no, I am. It'll pick it up, but no, I mean, you're fine. You. You're fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. can, can I not? You, you, can you, I not? You, you cannot. Yes, yeah. you can. Um, but I, I know that maybe something has happened that has stopped you from doing. Hurt, disappointment, let me regress. God has called me, and you read it here, to be a bishop. When that was called, I, ref I refused it. I told, I told Bishop, that ain't going to happen. He said, okay, sir, okay. And he laughed and got off the phone and hung up. You know, all of that. But when I finally did acknowledge and say, okay, God, what is this thing all about? What are you doing? What, why me? What do you, what do you want to do with me? He said, your mandate is three things. Destroy the works of the devil. And you read it there. Manifest or love as I have loved you. Okay? Destroy the works of the devil. Love as I've loved you and manifest the kingdom. Manifest the righteousness, the peace, and the joy 
that's in the Holy Ghost. Manifest the kingdom of God. What the kingdom is. This isn't what Bishop told me. This is what the Lord told me. Yes, yes. My responsibility, my call in this bishopric, as little as I think it might be, yes. whatever, 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 my thoughts are regarding it. He said that I am to destroy the works of the devil. So perhaps there's somebody here today that is allowing blame, disappointment, rejection, unforgiveness, fear, because all of those things are works of the devil. They are. Do you understand what I'm saying? You can get hurt to the point that you stop doing what you know God has said to Absolutely. And you get your little box. I'm going to take my toys and I'm going to go home. Okay? And maybe you have already gone home. Okay, maybe you've already decided that you, I mean, you go to church every Sunday, you but stand you still, in place, yes. you do this, you do that, you do the other thing. It doesn't mean, and that may have taken place years ago. I'm talking about 20, 30 years ago when you were hurt by auntie, uncle, this or that or the other thing. And now that you are a believer, you, because you see what happens, you were created by God mm-hmm. back in the beginning. Yes. I don't mean you were created when you got birth. You were created from the foundations of the world. Isn't that what the scripture says? He knew you before you were in your mother's womb. Okay? You were created by him in his image and in his likeness. You were created after your death. Mm -hmm. Amen. That, that just like Adam, you know, God, you know, created an image and likeness and image is resemblance. And we, we, we know all of those things. Amen. You were created in the image and likeness of God. But what happened to you is the same thing that happened in the earth. Mm-hmm. Okay. The enemy came along and distorted your creative image. Yes. Okay. He altered who God created you to be. And because of that, you learn from the tutors and the governors of this world who you are. Okay? Amen. Well, bless God. You can pass this out right here. You can pass that out right there. Amen. I hope I can stay with it. I, I, uh, amen. Because you were created in the image of God from Genesis, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and he created you and made you in his image and light. You have a created value. Adam had a created value, so much so that God used Adam to name and be a part of and a partner in and a partner with God in creation. Amen. And he has purposed and desired that we be with him now. And it's already been said that we're supposed to be doing things in the earth. But part of the reason that we can't do or aren't able to do is because we have lost our identity. Mm -hmm. Okay. We've forgotten who we be. Yes. And see, what I had in mind was that when we had the introduction of folks, and, uh, and, and I was going to go around and say, who you be, who you be, who you be, who you be, who, who you be, who you be, but everybody knew who everybody be, so it didn't, it didn't come. You know? And I know, I, I know that's bad English and all of that, but I'm purposefully doing that. I'm purposefully, because what happens is we know that we're Christians, so we do Christian things yes. out of being called a Christian. Okay, but that's not who we know ourselves to be. We have been altered by the world yes. and by the hurt, the disappointment, the pain, the refusal, the rejection, the this, that, and the other thing. And we can't fully be who God has called us to be because of what happened when we were 10. Jesus. Does that, does that make sense? Because of the rejection that you experienced, because of somebody bullying you, and you said it as well, and I'm saying, God, she's all over. Everybody has said some of these things because of the things that you went through and, and, and so forth. And that's exactly what happened to Adam. Adam was a partner in the creative process with God. He was told by God to name everything that was named. So Adam looked at everything that was, figured out what it's supposed to be. Well, it, I think I'll call this... Cell phone. Yep. Mm-hmm. And forever. It's cell phone. Shut up. Yeah, come forever. on now. It's cell phone. Because Adam did. Do you, oh, you understand yes. what I'm saying? Yes. He yes. called yes. it lion. He called it bear. He called it whatever it was. He was a partner with God, a joint heir with God. Yes. Amen. To call whatever was in creation, whatever it was. And then all of a sudden, the other one came along. And told him, is that really what God said you are supposed to 
be, be in the earth. And that's the same thing the enemy has done with us. He's called into question. He's called into question. Now you can have authority, but the moment you call into question, that's right. Honey, yes. 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 The moment you call into question who God has declared you to be, you can no longer walk in the better, power yes. of the one who called you. When he tells you that you are not who he said you are, now the one who's called you something else or told you a lie yes. has power over, over you. you. Yes. And now you're walking in the power of the lie rather than in the power of the truth. Does that make sense? So now you are walking in one who is of an inferior creation. Even though the one who created you said you are fearfully and wonderfully made. I don't make no junk. I made a precious gem right here. You ain't nothing and you ain't never going to be nothing. We take on the thought of a lie or the liar and now we're not walking in the power that of the one who created us. Yes. We have been given the commission. We have the authority, but we are not able to walk in the power because we're believing a lie rather than believing the That's truth. That's right. How can we, we, we accomplish the kingdom of God in the earth being somebody else? You can't. You can't do it. You can't do it. If you try to, now you are playing a part, as so many Christians do. And you know who somebody is that plays a part. Mm. You look at the word in scripture, the word hypocrite, yes. and you will find the definition that uh, says yes. a player uh, of parts, mm -hmm. or a player of roles, mm -hmm. or whatever. So, just like you said, yes. and I'm not picking on you, but no, just but like you yes, said, just absolutely. like you said, I would be whatever this person wanted me to be. I would play the role. Yes. And I would be whatever this person wanted me to be. I'd play the role. And I'll be whatever this person wanted Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. oh, hallelujah. <laughs> You're playing a role. You're saying the Christianese, mm -hmm. what sounds like, but there is no power yes. thereof. Yes. My God. Are, are, are yes. we together? Yes. I mean, it's a form of godliness. It's a form of what it's supposed to be. You wear a three-piece. I yes. only got on two today. Amen. But you wear, and you look like a preacher or what a preacher might be. But where's the power? That's what changes the world. That's what transforms yes. lives. That's what makes things that are messed up based upon the liar of this world. He's the prince of the power of the air. Is yes. that right? And behold, I've given unto you power to tread on him yes, and over has. all of the power of the enemy. I've chosen you to bring my kingdom come to the earth as it is in heaven. But if we can't be then we won't do. What we often say is we're doing to be. Mm. Uh, no, you your be don't come out of your be. Mm -hmm. your, I mean, your, your be don't come out of your do. That's right. Your do, do comes, comes out, out of your be. be. That's right. Does that mean? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. You got it. You said it right. But see, we do things. We do things. I'm going I'm to be this. I'm, so we do it. So, so what is it? You have a purpose. You have a created divine purpose in God. You've been given a destiny in God. And because you be who he created you to be, you are able to go or not. That's right. Yeah. Because the top of the paper says to be yes. or not to be. Yes. Okay? So if he's called us to the kingdom for such a time as this, are you now able to be who he created you to be, or has sin encumbered you? And I'm not talking about the that's sin right. that you Come committed. On. That's right, Bishop. I'm not talking about the sin. See, 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 church folks get this thing, well, I ain't sinned, and how come this is? No, you haven't sinned, but sin was committed against you. Mm. You, you, you were lied to. You were, you were hurt, and you were, all these all other these, things. Yes. You were blamed, and, and now you're walking in the shame of that blame. And you were, all kinds of things to prevent you from being in the earth. Who you have, because everybody, here we go again, mm -hmm. has a designed position. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. You're on the dream team. Yes. You're oh. on the ultimate team. Yes. <laughs> you yes. with me? Yes. 
You've been set in place mm-hmm. by God. Set woman of God. Yes. Set man of God. Mm-hmm. Set woman. You, each of us has been set by God. If the bricks that were set in Come this on. place were not secured, some of them would be falling unstable. out and so forth, and that wall would be unstable. That's the reason why the church is unstable. There's no reason why the church of the Lord Jesus Christ should not be accomplishing things in the earth. In the earth. But we have not come full understanding of who we be as the church. The church don't know who we be. The people are telling the church who they're supposed to be. And the, the, the world is leading the church rather than the Father, Holy Spirit, leading the church into who it's supposed to be. To fulfill the destiny of God in the earth. I mean, we're, we're, we're allowing the world to tell us when to, how to, where to, and if we should. I mean, and it's happening. We're afraid to lay hands on somebody in public. Wow. Oh, come on. We're afraid to lay hands on somebody. Well, just take about a hand. Come on, let's pray. Let's believe God right now. <laughs> Rather than wait until we get to the church house. No, I know. I'm not going to wait until we get to the church house. That's right. You may not make it to the church house. That's right. Because the anointing of God is it's in me. Now. It's the right. power yeah. of God is in me. The authority that he's given me is inside of me. In this earthen vessel. The kingdom. And all I have to do. The kingdom yeah. is within yeah. us. Yeah. The righteousness. Yeah. The peace. The yeah. joy of the Holy Ghost. And they said when, 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 when sickness was there. He said now. The kingdom is coming. The kingdom. That's come what it said. The kingdom's coming. Yeah. The kingdom's come to sickness. That's right. The kingdom is coming. Yeah. And you said it earlier. When you walk in the place, everything ought to change. Not because you're bad. Yeah. Not because you because somebody. God. But because of the kingdom inside yeah. of you yeah. ought to transform the atmosphere. Right. You've been in places where somebody is there. And the atmosphere or comes in. Yeah. Everybody just laughing and joking and having a good time. And then somebody comes in with his blanket, pulling his blanket and dust crawling all over. Who was that? Linus or what? Come in, Linus walk in. And now, yeah, pick me, pick me. Sorry about that, brother. I knew he could get us straight. <laughs> Pigpen, Pigpen would come in, amen, with the blanket and all of that. I, I'm teasing, brother. You be who God has made you to be. You be who God has created you to be, brother. Hey, you are a blessing to more than you know. Amen. You stirred some stuff up in me, brother, that I can't even... I can't even tell you about stuff that I was quitting doing, wasn't doing it no more because of them folks. And you said, Moses? Yeah. I wanted to smite the rock. <laughs> and if I, if I could have got it without going to jail, you'd have did it. <laughs> like I did back in the day. I'd walk up on you, I'd walk up on you, and you'd be hit before you knew it. <laughs> But thank you, Jesus, for the blood. <laughs> Hallelujah. We used to call them drive-bys. How come we can't do a drive-by in the Holy Ghost? Oh, but you can. Oh, oh yes, but you can. can. Yes. yes, you can. How come we don't do? Because we've forgotten or we've lost our identity. We've lost who we are in him. We've lost, And when you lose your identity, then somebody else can tell you who you be. They can tell you who you be. They can tell you that you are not up to your creative worth or value. Do each of us recognize that we're valuable enough for the father Mm -hmm. to send his son Mm -hmm. as the purchase price for us? He Mm -hmm. paid the price for us. Mm -hmm. He paid a high value to us. And now the world's going to come in and deplete our value so that we have no self-worth. You didn't give me my worth. The Father did. So I have the, the value that the Father says that I have, regardless of how you look at me. I'm dark. Yeah, I know I'm dark. I love my darkness. Yes. I didn't always love it. That's right. I didn't. I, but I love I, I, I mean, it ain't better than nobody else. It is. Is yours. It is who I am. Yes. I am who I am. Yes. Yes. I am who I am. 
I'm his. Yes, yes. yes I'm his. Yes. Are you with me? Yes. Because I'm like Jesus. And I want to be like him more yes. and more mm -hmm. and more Amen. and more. And not allow you to make me less than. Because you don't see the value in me that he has declared me to be. If you have allowed somebody to devalue you, hurts you so bad that you don't even know who you are. Don't know where you're going. And see, we hide it so well. Mm -hmm. We hide it so well. Okay, Holy Spirit, it's your turn to expose that thing right there. Hallelujah. Excuse me, just a second. I don't want it to drip all over. Oh, no. Sure, absolutely. We don't want to see it either. Sorry about that, brother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think we got some, uh, some stuff there. So, oh, I see. Hallelujah. Oh, uh, yes, thank you. Because I don't know if I'm going to touch anybody, you know? Yeah, I do know I'm going to touch somebody. Mm -hmm. I don't know who I'm going to touch. Yeah. 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 That was a waiting. Yeah. That was a recharge part. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> thank you, Father. Mm -hmm. You know what happens when the enemy comes in and tells you that you are somebody different yes. than who Father has created us to be? Yes. We start thinking different than the Father. We start thinking like the world mm -hmm. rather than thinking like Him. Mm -hmm. Some of you folks from back in the day, may I may remember this. Love is never having to say. Anybody remember that? Yeah, that's exactly what it was. Is that scripture? No, and it ain't true. <laughs> no, it ain't. But we've been taught by the word. Come on now. Of what love is. Do we know that love is the Shame. blood yes. of the kingdom? Yes. That's it is love. the blood yes. of the kingdom. But we are thinking out of our head rather than out of our heart. Jesus never thought out of his head. Mm -mm. In fact, the things that he thought of, they had to come out of his heart. But what we do is we think them and then we put them in our heart. Rather than think them out of our heart Jeez. and let what we think out of our heart be filtered through our mind. Because now it's, it's, it's pure. It's, it's, it's right. Now our mind is being told by our spirit or our heart how this is supposed oh, to be. Yes, yes, yes. You, you understand yes, what I'm saying? Yes. But what we do is we get an idea. Then we get an idea. And, we get it, and then we try to work it out, work it out. And then once we get our idea, then we tell our heart, this is going to work over here. Well, how come we didn't get it from over here? The spirit first. And then tell our mind. How it's supposed to go. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many things that I've, that, that, that's that leading that's right. the Holy Spirit yes. rather than the Holy Spirit leading me. And then I get into it and I realize that it ain't, working. ain't working. And I'm wondering why it ain't working is because I didn't follow. My thinking is now off. What does it say in, in, in the scripture you got there by thinking? Uh, first John, I done skipped the whole bunch of them. Uh, My Proverbs, thinking. Proverbs, Proverbs, mm -hmm. Proverbs, Proverbs, Proverbs 23. Anybody know that? Fear. <laughs> That's right. Fear ran from the fear. Yeah. Yes. Because Kingdom, they ran yes. from the power yes. and the presence of God. When we stand up in his, authority in his authority and walk out his power, demons must yes. flee. Yes. It says submit to God. Mm -hmm. Then resist the devil. And he'll flee. Is that right? Yes. That's what it's. We get it all we got. We get it mixed yeah. up, but the submission comes first. Yeah. The yielding comes first. The yes. laying down of our lives comes first. Yes. Okay? That means in our thinking. Mm -hmm. That means in our understanding. That means in, in, the, in what we process and what we allow to come in. We think on some things sometimes that we ought not to think on. Amen. 
We allow things to come in. And we chew on those things. Sometimes it's a lie. And I said a little while ago that when, we, when you accept the lie, then you lose or you give away your power. Mm -hmm. Then the one who has given you the lie has direction for you. Yes. He's able. You have become now the child of the light. Yes. He whose servants you are that is who you yes. yielded yourselves to be. Okay, know what it says? Yes. Not, not an exact quotation. But now you have yielded yourself to the father of lies. Now he's your daddy and he's telling you what to do. That's right. So now you cannot fulfill your call, your purpose, your destiny in the earth. You're doing what he's doing because your thinking now has been altered. Your thinking has been twisted. You know what they say? Don't get twisted. Don't get twisted. I'll knock you out. <laughs> Or whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because the world will see you passive. The world will see you nice and calm and all of that. But we've got to let the world know. I don't mean by our braggadociousness and, our, and our, all of that. But by the power of the word of God inside of us. I told you to go to Peter because I wanted to get down to another part down there further in the verse. I didn't finish it. Because we've been changed by our daddy. We've been born again. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Mm -hmm. We have a new father. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because we are born again, our father is not the father of lies. We have a new father. Amen. We've been born again. Just like Adam. Just like Adam. There's, a, there's a, the first man, Adam. Yes. Okay. Now, the second man, Adam. We're yes. born after him. Yes. After his image and after his yes. likeness. Yes. Are you with me? Absolutely. And then it goes on to say there's something about promises in the next verse. I think it's verse 4. Yes, it what is. What does it say? Whereby are given unto us. Whereby are given unto us. And those things are given to unto us by the Lord Jesus, which is up in, in the verse before that. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. Given to us by the Lord Jesus. There are precious promises. And when he promises, he don't lie. That's right. When he promises, he don't go back on his promise. Yeah. He does what he said. Now, he may have said it 30 years ago about what he was going to do in your life, what he was going to accomplish through you, what he was going to accomplish through your ministry. Or what, he may have said it a long time ago, but what he said, he doesn't lie. That's because right. go, on, go on to the next part of that. Through these precious mm -hmm. promises, we have of the divine nature. Yes, yes. we Is are partakers right? of the divine we nature. We are partakers of the divine nature. He's in us, mm -hmm. us in him. So that means to me that his DN is in me. His divine nature is in me. Through precious promises, mm -hmm. precious promises, mm -hmm. his divine nature is in me. Now it doesn't come out in power until I have assimilated them precious promises. That's right. That's when it's DNA. And he come, yes, amen. Are you with me? Yeah. That's when the DNA, that's where the power is at. Amen. Now you look like your daddy. You act like your daddy. You talk like your daddy. You walk like your daddy. Yes. I don't even know Joe Tucker. <laughs> Ain't never seen him. But I bet you a thousand dollars if I asked his brother if he walked like his daddy, he said, yeah, he walked like yes. Because I know he act like him. Yes. <laughs> And he talked like him every now and then. <laughs> I've never met his son. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. No, I'm okay. thinking of him. He came yeah, out of yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. do, do you understand what I'm saying? We're supposed to have the DN of our Father mm -hmm. through the precious promises of his word mm -hmm. become assimilated in us. Yes. And then our thinking is different. Yes. Because it's in our blood. It, it, it's a part of us. It's, it's who we be. <laughs> It's who we be. We can't think anything. We can't think differently now because we've been changed. That's right. The world can't tell you, you, you can't think that. No, wait a minute. What you talking about? My daddy's in me. And my dad, that's the way my daddy is. I'm just like my daddy. I can't, I can't be anything other than what ah, I be. Come on. That's right. When I am that, you can't make somebody be different. You take somebody who's gifting and calling and, and all of that. They were designed by God to be loving. And then you shut them down from being loving. There is a gift of love. Yes. 
I know we all have it as our blood, but there is a gift of love given to the body. And you see them people and they just like, how you doing? How you doing, baby? You, you all right? And, you know, they, they're always, and they're just as loving. If you go to a store and sometimes you're in a store and they're waiting on you mm-hmm. and you get mad at them while they walk out their gift. They're walking out their gift. Yes. And they just being who they be. Well, some of them, I know they, they try to make sure you don't steal nothing and all that kind of stuff. But some folks are just, they just, my God, that's who they are. Hallelujah. That's who they are. And because of that, oh, they're goodness. saying it over and over and over again. They'll just say it over and over again. They'll just say it over and over again. And everybody get tired of them saying it. Thank but you, that's Lord. Just that's just who they are. We know a brother like that, don't we? In California. <laughs> That brother will serve, he'll serve that bottle right there. It don't make any difference where he go. It don't make any difference whose house he's in. Now he's a guest in my house and he's picking up this. I said, no, this is your first time here. You ain't gonna pick up nothing. No, no, I gotta, I gotta, I, I, just, I said, brother, put that thing down, put it down. Okay, okay. His heart is service. I said, this one time, you're a guest here, you're not gonna do nothing. Don't do nothing. I'm gonna serve you. Oh, oh no. No, no. No, you can't do that. I mean, he only gets discombobulated. <laughs> he, he didn't he, baby. He, was, he didn't know what to do. I brought him something. He came one time. We went to Detroit. We went to Detroit. And he had just gotten there and already been there. And he didn't know where to go. So I grabbed his bag. I picked up his bag and I'm Oh, where's my bag? You got my bag. I said, brother, it's okay. It's all right. I can carry a bag. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I can carry. He said, but I'm supposed to be carrying. I said, my bag is already in there. What you going to do? Bring it out and take it back in? Let me carry the bag, brother. It's, it's okay, you know. But that's who he is. And I, after that, okay, now you, you, just, you just be who you are. And, and he's walking around trying to figure out who he can serve and, and who he can Look help. And, I mean, it, it's not, it wasn't showful. It wasn't pretentious. It wasn't, it was just who he is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's automatic. I believe that comes from our thinking being changed to understand who we have been created by God to be. And then we're walking that thing out. Okay, we're conducting ourselves. I got so much different stuff here. Hallelujah, yeah. I'm almost, I'll, I'll, I'll finish up. Uh, okay, I got lines there for nothing at all. Mm-hmm. Uh, thinking, but now we have the mind of Christ. We've already looked at Proverbs. Mm-hmm. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. That's who he is. Mm-hmm. That's who he be. Yes. Okay, but now we have the mind of Christ. Yes. We don't have our own mind. Mm-hmm. We have Christ's mind. Mm-hmm. And his mind was a kingdom mindset. But we have to allow, let this mind, it's number two, uh, let this mind be in me, which was also in Christ Jesus. Okay? It has to take place through a renewing of your mind. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. And I believe that's an ongoing process. Amen. Yes. We know Amen. that. We, we, we've heard this scripture and others, these three before. But I, I'm, I'm here in those scriptures, the passages, because again, I want to remind us and lift us up again to those things that we carry them out. Because in church, a lot of times, we know what the word says, so we get comfortable in it. We get complacent yes. in it. It doesn't make any difference how... You know what your what my title is. I can become complacent mm-hmm. in the things of God, but what this gathering has done is set fire in my mind and in my heart. Right. Not that's right. right. All right. You, you with me? Mm-hmm. It, I mean, there are things that I have thought to do, but I've said no, 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 I can't do that because. I got this one and that one. Picture in your mind the church that you go to frequently. Just close your eyes one, one real quick. Mm-hmm. And think about that person 
This is a gossip. You know where they sit. <laughs> You've heard them say. They've even come to you with stuff. What about the one that resists the pastor no matter what the pastor says? Second row, <laughs> left side. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. we, we got a picture in our mind. Because that's, that's who, okay, you can open your eyes. There, the enemy will use whoever he can or whatever he can to keep us from mm -hmm. doing and being mm -hmm. the Lord's called us to be. Okay? Uh, but let this mind be in you. Let your mind be transformed. Let your mind be renewed. Okay? Okay, my speech is to be like, like Christ. Uh, man does not live by bread alone, Amen. but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God, not out of your neighbor. Yes. Father, whatever it is that you have sent for me this day, I can and I will accomplish. Yes. Okay? I think that's why, that's why quiet time is so important. Yes. Because he gives you yes. the orders for the day. Yes. Remember that in the military, brother? Mm -hmm. In the military, you'd have, we, we used to call it guard mount and security mm -hmm. security police areas. You have guard mount and they'll tell you where the weak spots are. They'll tell you what this, that, and the other thing. So you know what's going on mm -hmm. around your perimeter, but that was the first thing at the beginning of your shift. That's right. Before you went out there, you didn't go out there and now you're dealing with stuff. Oh yeah, we you forgot didn't to tell know. you. <laughs> we forgot to tell you. <laughs> See, that's what, yeah. they, they, open that, they open that tree. You can't walk out in the open over there. You can walk out over here, but they got you over here. Over there is just a little too far, but we didn't tell you that. So, the same thing, I believe. Say again, please. What was that referred to as in the military? You were saying. Oh, it, we used to call it guard mount. Is that what you called it? I don't know what you guys called it. Yeah, guard, no, guard mount. Guard mount. mount M O U N T. It's where, you, where, where all the troops come together and then they give out the orders for the day mm -hmm. and tell you what, you know, tell you mm -hmm. what your duties are and responsibilities are. Mm -hmm. And everybody, everybody okay? You got your equipment? They make sure you got your, got all your stuff on. You, you got it. Okay, everybody's good to go. All right, let's mount up. And you hit the field. The police okay. still do that every yeah. day. Every day. Mm -hmm. every, day. Every, day. every morning. Every, because things are changing. Yeah. But see, we, right. we, As church, come on, Bishop. we think that we can get yes. up and go and, and, just, don't, and, 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 and get the or, don't get the orders for the day. Mm. Or we get them on the fly. Yeah. Yeah. And be that shit got shot. <laughs> <laughs> they sniping at you. <laughs> As you go down the road. You going down the road on the freeway. I'm telling you what I do now. I'm telling tell on myself. Jesus. Okay, because I got up late and I'm running out of time and I gotta go. You know, so I, I say a little quick. Me and baby pray every morning. I, I don't stop. That's I right. don't not do that. We pray every morning. Okay, sometimes a quick prayer because I gotta go, baby. I gotta go. I don't say all the things we don't say. Don't, don't go too gone. deep. <laughs> but what is what I what I normally do and what I what I gotta get back to doing yes. on a regular consistent basis yes. is that I pray before we pray. Mm -hmm. Yes. I get the orders. Yes. You're the head. Yes. I'm, I'm getting on. the orders. Okay? And giving, not, not that, oh, it's got to be that's me. Right. Right. No, right. no, but no, I got to no. get the orders for myself. Yes. I got to get the orders for myself in order to share with her. What can I tell her about the day or give her My warning God. about? Be careful about this. Be careful about that. If I ain't got it myself. Bishop, yes. I can't. Same thing in the kingdom. We've got to hear what the Father is saying. He'll warn you about certain things. If you're being led by the Spirit, He'll take you around that pile yes. that is right there. Yeah, He will. That rattlesnake that's curled up right there and take you around it to the place of safety. Yeah, yes, He will. But you know how to get there, so you go, yeah. <laughs> You know how to get there. Got bit or got fell in a bit. hole or something. And now I got to call for the bullshit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what happens. That's right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And then, and then go, go, go call. Call the pastor. I got bit. And the pastor done told you four times don't go that way. Leave that brother alone. Leave that on, sister bishop. alone. Don't, don't. Yes. Well. I, I, I just need, I need. You need Jesus. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I got you, baby. I got you. Okay, man, shall I leave my bread alone? Um, let the words of my mouth. Yes. That's it. Psalms 19. That's my scripture, yes. Let the words of my mouth. 
and the meditations of my heart. Working in conjunction. Be acceptable in your sight, oh Lord. My God. I said it earlier, and that's number three here. Do you speak what Jesus wouldn't speak? That's number three. Mm -hmm. Right there. Okay. But let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight. What we ought to be meditating on. We meditate, and, and, and it causes us to worry. It causes yes, us to amen. fret. It causes amen. us to be fearful. Yes. It causes us to doubt. Amen. Okay? And some of that is left over from, yeah. from before. Mm. You're so true. So true. You with me? Mm -hmm. Because you had all of that stuff going on, or you haven't forgiven. Yes. Come on. You haven't yes. forgiven. And because of that, now goodness is coming in your life. Grace and mercy is trying to get in, but because you haven't forgiven back there, you can't receive the blessing that God has for you. You're wounded and you're hurt or you're disappointed or you were let down or you were offended in the church. So now because of that, God is trying to give you something through brother or sister so-and-so and, and, and you're standing there watching. I'm waiting on them, I'm waiting on them to do it because the last four times, every time they, they, they're going to do it. I know they're going to do it. And you're waiting on them to do what everybody else did because you haven't forgiven, let go of, healed from that. I'm not saying it didn't hurt. I'm not saying it wasn't. But that was the enemy's effort to change your identity. And he did a good job because now you're walking in what the liar said rather than what the father has said. Yes. Yes. Are, are we together? Yes, we are. I mean, it, and, 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 it, and it can be any of us. Yes. We, we, and we, we, all of us say, all of us have walked with the Lord, walking with the Lord, different levels, different places, all of that kind of stuff. But see, I've got some saints in my church that have caused me. No. That's right. No, that's, a, that's not true. That's right, Bishop. They have done things that meant least to become more. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Yes. yes, Bishop. That's, yeah. What mattered least mm -hmm. became more important mm -hmm. than what he said. Mm -hmm. So now I'm following them. Mm -hmm. Responding to Rather than following him. Mm -hmm. And who they follow. Oh, ain't no telling who they follow. Mind. They're following their own mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're following the enemy's works. They're doing this. this. But I've got people in the church who do, I, I've been told I, ain't a no, I was a no good pastor to my face. Wow. You were no good pastor. You ain't no good. You, you're not a good pastor. Mm -hmm. And I ate it. But that ain't what he said. I ate it. And for a long time I believed it. And then I had to dig out. Mm -hmm. And I don't know that I dug all the way out. Come on, Bishop. Do you understand what I'm saying? Still got to get some of that. Yes. I don't know, brother. I, I don't know. But the lie. But, but I wasn't. Mm -hmm. what, I didn't do what they expected of me. They, I didn't do what they wanted me to do. I even asked one brother. I said, brother, what, what is it, man? What, what is it? I said, have I... Have I lived unrighteously before God? Mm -hmm. No. I said, have I sinned or done something wrong? No. I said, I, have, I, have I betrayed somebody or done something? No. I said, then what is it? Mm -hmm. you, you, you didn't do what I told you. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. You mean it's because you said that I should do this, this, and this. And because I didn't do that, at the time you said do that, all of this pushback is coming. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. I know where you're at now. God bless you. I know where you're at now. God bless you. God okay? bless you. Because I'm not following you. I'm following Jesus. Yeah. And brother, you ain't Jesus. No, you're not. No. I mean, Jesus may speak to you. He may give you the right words and so on and so forth. But I'm not following you, bro. I'm following the Lord. Okay? But I allowed that to get in. That's being for real and transparent. You, you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Because what the word says is, with all your heart, you, you with all diligence, rather, you, you should guard your heart. heart. Yeah. Because out of it. Because out of that, you can't even worship. You can't flow. Come on. You can't get into the presence of the Lord. Oh. 
Stuff gets in the way. Stuff yeah, it does. Runs. I mean, the Lord wants to bless you, and who pops up that in person. your thinking? Oh, what up. pops up in your thinking? What comes up in your mind? That situation, what they said, what they did, how they acted. They got a gun. They might have a gun. Mm-hmm. So now you're sitting in fear in the presence of the Lord. He wants his anointing to drop on you. And the back door opens and you are just about to step into the Holy of Holies. And you hear the creak into the back door. Now you're worried that it's a gunman from across town coming into the house. We're not resting in God. We're not at peace in God. Help. Because I'm thinking. Help God. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Okay, uh, Father, we thank speak, you. Speaking, walking like Jesus. Galatians, it says that we're supposed to walk in the Spirit. Mm-hmm. This I say, walk in the Spirit. Mm-hmm. Not verse, verse 17 or 18, it says, If ye then be the head, okay, you'll walk in the Spirit. Uh, but that's Galatians chapter 5, verses 16 to 18. The whole thing is walking in the Spirit. Now there's one thing to be filled with the Spirit, and there's another thing to walk in the power of the Spirit. Yes, amen. Okay. What I believe God is calling us higher to do is to walk in a higher place in yes, the power of the Spirit. Amen. Okay. I, I believe that that's what Jesus did mm-hmm. when when the enemy came to him and, and told him all kinds of things. He he wasn't worried about that. He was walking in the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. And he was. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You know, he, he wasn't trying to, he be Holy Spirit. <laughs> That's who he be. Okay. And now we have Holy Spirit in us. So we ought to be walking as he walked in the earth. Being led by the Spirit. Okay. If that's the case. Then we'll treat each other differently. Yeah. We'll treat situations differently. Right. We'll treat circumstances that we come into contact with differently. We'll not just dive in, mm-hmm. but we'll take the time, think about it, get directions from get Holy directions. Spirit, and what to do and how to do, and allow Him to direct us. Amen. 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 Uh, Jesus said, "It is written of me to do that will." Yes. The mind of Christ. If we have the mind of Christ, is an obedient mind. The mind of Christ is a walk in power mind. And he gave us that power. That's number three, Luke. Uh, walk in power. Okay. Uh, Luke chapter 10, verse 19. Behold, I give you power to tread on serpents mm-hmm. and on scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Amen. Yeah. Um, Thank you, Father. See the paper there that I have. Uh, that you already had on the back side of the bee. On the back side of the bee. There are some declarations that you can speak to yourself. Amen. Okay. But you got to know who you be mm-hmm. before you can declare. Because if you're saying stuff that you don't know you are, you're just saying a bunch of stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So allow the I am to be digested. Mm-hmm. 